Hey y'all, welcome to the 2021 Employee Benefits Meeting. Just like everything else this year, uh, this presentation is gonna be done over Zoom. So I've, uh, I've got my, my cup of coffee here that's uh, hard for the screen to pick up. We have 60, count them, six zero pages of insurance glory. Um, for the sake of your intention span here, we are gonna stick to about the first 15 to 20 pages and we're gonna move really quickly. Big picture, little picture this year. Uh, right as I say that, I don't know if I introduce myself. Uh, my mother would be horrified. My name is Ben. Uh, I'm one of y'all's insurance nerds that uh, supports Lori and Buddy and the rest of the great staff at City of Alamo Heights. So uh, we are, uh, we're lucky to be working with uh, uh, an organization like y'all because you offer great benefits. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. So um, we stayed with Blue Cross Blue Shield for medical dental vision. We moved uh, some life insurance and some disability insurance to Mutual of Omaha. Uh, we got a better contract, uh, better pricing from Mutual of Omaha. Uh, they had been a previous carrier for us, so we consolidated a couple of lines with them. Uh, so those are some good changes. We'll talk about those. Um, Blue Cross Blue Shield uh, was uh, our best carrier going forward. Uh, we didn't make any changes to the plan design. The uh, city still picks up 100% all of medical, dental, and vision for the employee only. Now, if you add uh, spouses or kiddos, you'll see a bit of a, a, a payroll deduction there. We had some pretty good util utilization over the past year which means you know, folks are using the plan, which is a good thing. The, the issue with any insurance, kind of like car insurance, you know, when you get into an accident, uh, they tend to up your rate. So, so we had uh, a rate bump. The part of that is just normal. Um, inflation in the medical space uh, is, is a lot more than the price of watermelon. So in, inflation's impact on the pricing of healthcare um, is eight to 10% year over year. Um, but we got an acceptable offer for Blue Cross Blue Shield. Everything that we're gonna talk about today, you can sign up online. So a lot of this presentation, when I tell you to you know, close your eyes because I'm scrolling through a lot of stuff, you know, you might uh, have to take some Dramamine or something. Uh, there might be a, a little motion sickness. Employee Navigator, go there, please. You're going to go to coa.employeenavigator.com, company identifier is COA. Uh, you'll be asked to provide first name, last name. If you don't know that, 2020 is hit it, hitting you a little hard, uh, but good news, there's uh, an EAP, Employee Assistance Program, that's new. But if you've experienced any stress in 2020, you can get some free counseling. And if you have not experienced stress in 2020, you may be a robot, which you should get that checked out through Blue Cross Blue Shield. And we'll talk about that in a minute too. Y'all have done this drill before. Go back to Employee Navigator. You'll plug in information that you know, and then you'll say your yeses and nos on anything uh, that you do or do not want. By the end of the drill, it will spit out a screenshot to you that say, are you sure you want all this stuff? And you'll say yes or no. So you'll have uh, the authority and the finality to check everything that you're doing. Okay, this is kind of the summary page. Again, 60 pages in this presentation, very thorough, um, but this is a great summary page. Uh, we still have our medical plan. It is the same one as it was last year. It is a health savings account plan. The city still contributes to that. We still have that squirrely feature that is a generous benefit, it's just confusing, called a health reimbursement account. And that it reimburses some money back to you uh, if you use it. So it, it is meant to be generous. It is generous because it's just a direct bottom line exposure for the city, um, but it can kind of get confusing. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Dental vision, all the same, life and disability. Um, we moved some carriers there and then we've got uh, the duck, AFLAC, and then we've got MASA, our medical transport, where we've got a couple of different options there. All right. Are you ready? Last disclaimer. These bullet points are reasons you can go to Lori and say, Lori, I'd like to change my election in the middle of the year. 
right now is open enrollment. You can make any change you want, no problem. Um, but you cannot change in the middle of the year unless you have one of these qualifying life events going on. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas on the Blue Choice PPO, no changes there. Same HSA or HDHP high deductible health plan. In case you're into phonics, you've got a $44 copay. Copay is just a flat rate when you use it uh, for virtual visits, <laughs> which is good this year. Everything is virtual. Deductible is the same, $5,000 for individual, and you've got a $5,000 out-of-pocket max. In other words, that's your maximum liability, according to Blue Cross Blue Shield. Let's keep it just between us girls, um, because that HRA actually reimburses you money underneath your deductible, which is pretty cool, uh, because it's money back to you, which is also cool. Costs are there. Again, employee only didn't change at all. Uh, spouse, kiddo, family did. That HSA account is right here that I'm motioning. They still put 1250 bucks into your HSA. You can add more onto that. I love the way that this is laid out. This is really helpful. Um, 2350 plus 1250 should be 3600. If it's not, then we've got an adding problem. 5950 you can add in addition to what the city puts in and if you're over 55 then you can tack on another thousand bucks to any of those two amounts this is that hra all right so here's the jam what i want you to remember is if you if you go into the hospital and you have to meet your deductible just ask just make it easy on yourself just just ask us ask lori uh, Deborah Lanier is your dedicated account manager. She's really fabulous at her job. Just ask one of us um, if you have a reimbursement owed to you, and we can help solve that. Because because here's here's how it works. You have a five thousand dollar deductible according to Blue Cross. Ha ha! It's like monopoly bank account in your favor. But once you've met the first three thousand, which is not five thousand. Once you've met the first three, you get reimbursed the next two, three plus five is two. So really, you've got a $3,000 deductible, but you've got, to, um, you've got to spend it and then get reimbursed. And we did that a couple of years ago because we, we found a lot of value in moving up the deductible so that the premium amount went down. And what we're really doing is just self-funding the difference between the old deductible and, and the new one. So, um, but the uh, but again the the biggest challenge here is just you know headspace it's just kind of confusing but you may have some money that is due back to you and and we we want you to we want you to check um this next slide you what what you'd need to do uh just dovetailing on the h a h r a piece is you'd need to go onto your portal that you've probably already been to uh you can pull up your e o b that's your explanation of benefits you can pull up a lot of other stuff. Check for in-network doctors, hospitals. They also have an app like everybody else on planet Earth. Optum Bank is your HSA uh, account vendor. They also have your account, just in case you were curious. Yes. Yes, you can check your bank account balance there. More info on the HRA. I went over the most important pieces of it. If you're into the detail, then we would not want to offend you. So happy reading. Biggest public service announcement, 911. Not sure if you've heard of it. If there's an emergency, you should call that. Super helpful. Super, super helpful. We really support our customers at Caddo and Caddo. Um, the public service announcement, by virtue of a lot of what y'all do, you probably already know this, um, freestanding emergency rooms, it's an emergency room outside of a hospital setting. Uh, developers are putting them in the same exact building as an urgent care provider, so if you walk through the wrong door, you go and get a big old bill that uh, will produce anxiety and you actually may have to walk over to the emergency room um, because you're having a panic attack. So just be aware when you're accessing care what door you're walking into. If it says see a doctor in six minutes, then you can. And unless it's life or limb threatening, you're gonna end up sitting there anyways. 
MetLife is going to continue to be our dental provider here. ID is what I was scrolling for right there. It's just um, how you get your ID. This is not a, a new vendor. Uh, this is an absolutely wonderful dental plan. If, if this dental plan got into a fight with a lot of other dental plans and a lot of other of our clients, this dental plan would totally beat the other dental plans up. It's a really good dental plan. So you got your DHMO, which is really inexpensive. That would probably honestly be for somebody like me. I, I just need some, some simple stuff. I need preventative services. I don't really care who, uh, I don't need to see the same person every single time. Um, so th these are your Aspen Dental, Horizon Dental, Castle Dental, <coughs> excuse me, um, type of practices. Uh, fee schedule just means there's this big old alphabetized book of stuff where you can pre-plan expenses. Yes, you can use your HSA for that. Thank you for asking. Um, but the other plan, this PPO plan is honestly probably one of the best priced plans for the benefit. Um, I mean, as an insurance nerd, this is pretty incredible pricing. I would like this plan and I don't have it. So, but I'm glad you do. It's 5,000 bucks a year that MetLife is going to just chunk at your mouth. So preventative is covered for free, 0% zero, zero deductible wave. You go and get your teeth cleaned twice a year, x-rays associated with that. But if you need other stuff, cavities, crowns, bridges, stuff like that, Met's going to sponsor five grand towards the cost of whatever's going on in your mouth. Now, you'll have some splitting going on. That's called coinsurance. That's the 20% after deductible, 50% after deductible. Your deductible is only 50 bucks. So you meet that first and then coinsurance starts. Coinsurance is just a split between you and the insurance company. And once MetLife has paid out five grand on your behalf, then you self-pay um, or be really nice to your dentist. Ask them for a Christmas present. Maybe they can do it for free. Probably not because they need to get paid too. But shoot for the moon, get the stars. Pricing is there. MetLife also has an app. Imagine that. You can do all sorts of stuff on there. Vision. Davis Vision, we made no changes to this. ID or electronic only. You're going to go in, you're going to slap down $10 for the right to walk in and breathe their air, and then you're going to have a decision to make. You're going to get $130 bucks for frames, and the lenses inside those frames are on a $25 copay, unless you're really blind like me and you got to shrink them down. I pay above my copay, I pay in addition to my copay. Uh, but that's my call because it just doesn't work for my Christmas card to have really thick glasses. So the decision that you have to make here is, um, I'm going to go down here, see this once every, once every, once every, that means you can't get glasses and lenses and contacts at the same time paid for uh, by insurance. You've got to pick one or the other. So you'll either get 130 bucks for contacts uh, or you'll get 130 bucks for a cool guy or cool girl frames. And then we already talked about, about the lenses. Pretty inexpensive too. Vision works, Walmart, Sam's, Costco, independent providers. Um, if this insurance thing doesn't work out for me, I'm, I'm going to go be a greeter at Costco. I, I love, I love Costco. Who doesn't need 48 pounds of peanut butter? Unit cost just goes to the floor when you buy that much. Okay, Mutual of Omaha is our new carrier. Get excited about life insurance. I know, I know. Um, it's free to you, which is cool. One times your annual salary up to a max of 150,000. When you go to Employee Navigator, we're going to bug you, like can't proceed in the enrollment process unless you tell us where that uh, money goes if you're no longer living. That's your beneficiary. That's who catches the football if you're no longer holding it, so to speak. LTD, long-term disability. This is insurance on your paycheck. If you get sick or hurt and are out for a very long period of time, it goes to see this SSNRA, Social Security Normal Retirement Age. 
So for me, I'm 40. I think my SSNRA is like 68 or something like that. So if I got sick or hurt, uh, catastrophically disabled, God forbid, and I could not come back to work in any capacity, then this ensures up to 60%, if I were working for the city, up to 60% of my monthly earnings to a cap of five grand a month. So this is your sleep at night factor and it's paid for after you have been with the city for a year by the city and it ain't cheap. So it's a good, good, good benefit. EAP, two things I like about that, three actually, it's free, I kinda like that. Uh, number two, you can get some online will prep done. Pretty cool. Number three, you get three face-to-face -face visits. Mentioned it earlier, COVID is going on. Fair amount of stress and anxiety in the atmosphere. So, you know, you get some free counseling. How about that? There's a lot of information. I, it, it's actually pretty valuable. You, you just got to do some, some scrolling through these pages uh, to see what all is available. So I'd encourage you to do that. We're not going to go over the the detail um, of that. It would it would nobody would listen to this webinar and it'd take uh, an hour or two. Voluntary life, accidental death, and dismemberment. Okay, super busy page. Here's the deal: um, if you signed up for life insurance before and you have whatever amount you had, that's fine. That's grandfathered. You don't have to reapply again. Now, if you're a brand new, brand spanking new, new hire then you've got $100,000 first time only. I sound like a used car salesman right now. So warning, if you are a brand spanking new, new hire, you can get $100,000 of extra life insurance. It's on you. You'll move a button on Employee Navigator. The rates are all here. And um, you cannot sign up for that $100,000 again. In other words, if you um, are a current employee and you didn't, take that first time offer, then you can get 20 grand of no medical questions asked. So the whole thing about life insurance is, is, is insurability. Can, can the insurance company insure you? So if you're a brand new, new hire, you got $100,000, no medical questions asked, cost is on you, you'll see all the prices. If you are a current employee, you got 20,000 of no medical questions asked. If you want above that, then evidence of insurability, meaning some paperwork and some testing is gonna be required. And you'll be able to move a button to see how much you could get on your spouse and kiddos uh, when you get to Employee Navigator. That's how that all works. Short-term disability. Uh, we consolidated with Mutual of Omaha. It is right here. This is for a short-term period of time, 11 weeks, 750 bucks a week. So 60% of your uh, income, weekly income, up to $750 a week kicks in after 15 days. So you get sick or hurt and uh, you need a, an insurance policy for a short period of time, 11 weeks, on your paycheck, check out Mutual of Omaha. Okay, you have a separate and in addition to option. So I want you to go back and think about life insurance. Now, if you are, AD and D means like if you're in a car accident, for example, accidental death and dismemberment. If you're in a car accident, the benefit actually doubles, but you gotta choose it. So this AD&D would um, 72 cents per semi-monthly paycheck, okay? That's the cost. And then it doubles your basic life amount. So your basic life amount is one times your annual salary. So if I'm making 50,000, uh, then my AD&D if I get into a car wreck is my 50,000 of basic life insurance plus my 50,000 of AD&D because that's what AD&D is. So if you want to double your basic life amount, if God forbid you're ever in an accidental death and dismemberment, 72 cents a paycheck. Okay. Let's talk about the duck. You got two plans here. Both are through AFLAC accident and critical illness. There is a ton of real estate in this book about how much a broken leg uh, could, could cost if money was sent to your mailbox. These plans send money to your mailbox. If you get in an accident, uh, if God forbid you're diagnosed with a critical illness, cancer, heart attack, stroke, all the stuff that nobody wants, there's a lump sum benefit amount that shows up in your mailbox if you buy this policy. I have a policy like this 
Um, I have an accident policy and when my daughter uh, fell down and broke her arm after we made sure she was okay, uh, I, I filed uh, with Aflac and they sent some money to my mailbox. I can buy Christmas presents with that money. I can pay doctors with that money. I can do whatever I want with it. So that's accident and critical illness. You got two policies. All the rates are going to be on Employee Navigator. The next decision that you have to make uh, is MASA. MASA covers low likelihood, high severity events. Um, this is ambulance, ground emergency, ground transportation, or life flight. That is the low likelihood, high cost, because these, the, the ambulances and life flight don't really care what they don't ask. They don't really care what kind of insurance you have. So insurance will cover some, but it will not cover all of that exposure. So all insurance is, is just transfer of, of risk for a premium. <clears throat> And so, sorry, I get, I get, I get verklempt and emotional when I talk about insurance. Um, it's transfer of risk for a premium. And so if you are interested in transferring the risk of ground or air transportation um, to MASA, then you'll be able to see the rates and those will be on, I think it's page 46 or 47. You've got three different options with MASA and it's by geography. So some of it covers worldwide, some of it covers US and Canada. Um, so I'll, I'll get to that page and then we'll take a look at it in just a minute. Travel assist. If you're thinking about your insurance carrier when you're traveling, good for you. That's, that's very insurance savvy. Um, there's actually quite a bit of stuff involved in here. You, you could have some 24 seven translator services, um, weather updates, lost baggage, so um, check out all the freebies uh, in the travel assist. Premium only plan just means this, these benefits are not taxed, which is a good thing. Okay, a lot of real estate I'm gonna scroll through. So here's where you gotta close your eyes. These are the costs for the accident plan. And then a um, lot of verbiage on the accident plan. I know, I know. You can scroll through there and see how much, you know, if you break your leg in three places, it's worth more than if you break your leg in two. So go big or go home is, is the moral of the story, but don't go breaking your leg or anybody else's just to get an insurance payout. Uh, here are all the costs, but honestly, go to Employee Navigator. It's gonna be a lot more user-friendly. This is the critical illness, cancer, heart attack, heart attack stroke, I'm pausing here. These are all the covered conditions. So make sure you take a look at that or just call us if you have questions. Some of them get pretty specific, especially if you've had um, one of those illnesses or diseases in the past. Just let us know if we can help clarify what is and what is not covered. I don't want you buying insurance just out of fear. I want you to buy it based on an educated decision to transfer a potential risk for a premium. So um, MASA, as we discussed, you've got these three different plans. Call us and let us know if you have a question. Uh, some of y'all have had a MASA plan before. We just added to that. So you've got three different options instead of just the one option you had in the past. So we added two. So take a look at this screen. This is page 46. Okay, so I got that right earlier. <clears throat> More detail about uh, some of the impact of MASA. I'll, I'll tell you, I've been absolutely shocked that so many people have adopted this policy. I was pretty skeptical about it because I don't like people buying too much insurance. People got to buy you know, groceries and send their kids to school. And, but this plan has been really popular. Travel assist, look how happy these people are. There's just no care in the world because they have this free travel assist policy. And both of their teeth are very straight. So obviously they've used their MetLife benefit to take care of their teeth. And they can see each other, so they've used their dental, their, their vision benefit. And you've got a card you can cut out. Isn't that cool? 
Will Prep mentioned this earlier. I really like that feature. I really do. Uh, the rest of this information, y'all, great late night reading material, required notices. <clears throat> Here's again where you're going to want to go like that. And we're going to end on this page. Enroll or terminate anything that you want for any of these coverages. Make any change that you want. December 18th, final day. Must log into Employee Navigator. Please make your elections. If not, we will hunt you down. We will hunt you down. Contact Lori. She's fabulous and knows her stuff. So does Deborah. She's fabulous and knows her stuff. So you've got the A team on this deal. If you've got any complaints about this presentation, you can reach out to Deborah. If you have any you know, compliments or anything like that, I'll, I'll give you my cell. That's gonna conclude our presentation uh, with these happy people playing tug of war. Uh, they're, they're just winning at the game of life because of this insurance. Um, really miss being with y'all. Thanks for hanging on to a, to a virtual presentation and look forward to seeing you once we get through all that we're in. Y'all have a great day.